Welcome back to the channel. Today we, we've got another X1, so it's in black sapphire, so a U11 chassis. A customer ordered car, it's fairly well equipped, missing just a few things, and not much of that. So obviously brand new X1 redesign. So we have our revised headlights here, and the daytime running lights, similar to what's on the 3 Series, uh, but obviously way different than what's on the X5 and X6. And the front grill here, active front grill, and the centers are all in here. And I think it's pretty well integrated, so we can tell this one's got the M Sport package as well as the Shadow Line package, giving it a very nice, stealthy, blacked out look. And you can't really tell if the sensor's really there, given the integration with the black grill. Move over to the side. So we have the 18 inch style 838M wheels. And I think the sweet spot for this wheel diameter is going to be 19 inches. There is a 20 inch wheel available. But I think the 18s are just a tad too small. For sure, opinion may vary on that one. But I think the 19s are probably going to be a good look on it. And probably still pretty comfortable. But again, that's a aesthetic choice that you may or may not agree with. You may want to go to the 20s or stick with the 18s. And out back, we have our very sculpted 3D tail lights. And the back end, I think, looks pretty good because this is the M Sport uh, model. There's base, there's X line, there's the M Sport. You will not be able to get a tow hitch. So if you want the tow hitch or trailer hitch, you're going to have to get the X line. That's the only way it's available. And there's a side profile of the new X1, which I think looks pretty good. I think it's a big improvement over the previous gen X1. But I think my favorite X1 is the OG X1. They look basically like a E9X uh, wagon. Let's take a look at the inside, go over pricing and options on this vehicle. So opening up, we have the Magma Red and Black Sensatec. Now, I think what's coming for 2024 is a revision to the upholstery. So you're going to get Vaganza, uh, which is on the current Gen 7 series. I'll take a better look at the ordering guides for 2024. But that's the big change on the interior. And then very nice looking seats as well. This one's got lumbar support, so it has the active uh, front seats, which includes massaging seats. An option that was added a little bit after the start of production for 2023 X1s. All right, so inside our M Sport steering wheel. I think it's a pretty nice design. Not quite a flat bottom, which I think is on the 7 series. But a preview of what's to come for M Sport steering wheels, I'm guessing. You have the boost function available with the M Sport package, and shift paddles only come with the M Sport models. Our iDrive 8. Now, for iDrive 8.5, it's not coming to the X1. So, what we've been told is the X2 will be the launch of iDrive 9, which will be available on this vehicle. From production as well as the X2. I believe that's going to be later this year. I think maybe October, November start of production for the X2. So be excited to see what that one looks like. We also tell this car has the premium package to the heads up display as well as the Harman Kardon sound system. It's a little bit hard to see right there. But really sort of small screen here, not taking up the full real estate of the available space. And a smaller curved display. All right, now trim here is the aluminum hexacube. It's a little bit hard to see what a hexacube looks like. 
Uh, so hopefully the camera's picking that up a little bit. And down here you got your wireless charging tray here and a little cradle for your phone. Cup holders and sort of a floating console area like the iX. And of course the other big change is there is no iDrive control on here. So it's all touch screen or voice command. And I always reach down here thinking I'm going to touch the iDrive controller and I am not. So if you're coming from a car with the iDrive controller, it's going to take some time to get used to that. All right, let's talk about pricing and the options on this particular vehicle. So starting price, the X1, $39,100. Black Sapphire Metallic adds another six fifty. dollars The perforated Sensatec is included. Shellline package for another three hundred. dollars M Sport package for twenty three hundred. Then the premium package, which is a pretty hefty increase, is forty two hundred dollars. But you do get the Harman Kardon sound system, parking assistance, as well as the heads up display, among other things. All right, and then we got the heated front seats and steering wheel. Again, that's a separate option uh, for five hundred and fifty bucks. So generally, if you add the premium package to your build, it will add that automatically the system, but it is not required. The active front seats and lumbar support, another 450. All told MSRP of $48,545. So pretty well equipped. I think the big thing missing is the Active Drive Assistance Pro, which is driving assistance professional on the X1. And that's probably about it, I think, option-wise. That's sort of missing. Let's take a look at the back seat. All right, so I'll, I'll note there is no comfort access on the back doors. We're heading back to the early 2010s with comfort access on BMW. So you got front, but not rear, just like my 2011 M3. All right, so here's our back seat. We'll hop in. So here's the view from the back seat. You know, pretty modern BMW cockpit. Our moonroof shade is open. You do have some vents back here. You have USB-C chargers as well. No climate control in the back. This sets it apart from the X3. And pretty interesting door handles as well. But knee room and leg room is pretty good. And of course, headroom, not an issue whatsoever in the X1. So pretty comfortable cabin. And whether or not this makes sense for you over the X3, it's going to be a decision up to you. So again, this one is the only BMW, at least in North America, or maybe it's just the U.S. market, that has the dual clutch transmission. That's on the X1. Also front wheel drive base. So if you do prefer the rear wheel drive aspects of things, you can get the X3, which is biased that way on the X drive rather than front wheel drive. All right, take a look at the cargo area. So we can use our kick to open. So pretty decent size uh, cargo area. You do have a spare tire included with the X1, so a little bit of storage space underneath that you can get away with, but pretty decent size. And of course those seats in the second row do fold down. All right, make our way towards the front here. We've taken our black sapphire metallic. All right, go under the hood here. And underneath the hood here is the inline four, two liter. So underneath the hood here is the B48 inline four cylinder, two liter turbo engine. And this guy's it's 241 horsepower and 295 torques. So, you know, pretty decent motor. And that's it for a, another quick tour around the X1. X-Drive 28. And we have a couple more coming in. Thankfully in the new-ish color, the Blue Bay Lagoon. So hopefully we'll have that on the channel shortly. See you at the next video.